<laughs> so basically, you saying people are randomly approaching you, right? Yes. After I made the post, right? After you made the and post. what are they saying? What kind of stuff are they people saying? People are like, "Oh my God, you're the guy from Facebook." <laughs> 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 and, I, and I don't know how to respond. <laughs> Is this the first time you ever been approached like on yeah. some like, hey, you're like, <laughs> I mean, you know, what? I'm not used to being uh, like, uh, uh, I guess you could say a viral thing. Yeah, you know, you, know. you out here now, bro. <laughs> Unless it's in church circles, but to be approached. And like I said, the other day I was in some store. I don't remember the name of the store, but this guy, <laughs> yeah. he just kept looking at me like this. <laughs> and then he was talking to one of his friends by, oh, McDonald's. That's what Oh, was. wow. I was in McDonald's in, in Leesburg. Mm -hmm. And this guy who worked there, mm -hmm. he was talking to the guy behind him. And he goes, oh, my God, it's that dude from Facebook. And I'm just sitting there like, <laughs> what? So y'all know I did the vlog with Joseph and it was a very big outpouring of love. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing that I noticed is that most of the people that commented on your post had real life stories of like when they met you. So like how did that, you probably don't even know, like after you meet people, you don't know the effect you're having on them. Like you don't even, you probably don't even think that they're going to like remember you. Absolutely not. I mean. I cried reading most of the posts. I, I'm still getting teary eyed now thinking about it. It's a really wonderful thing to know that I'm at that, that level. You've touched a lot of people. I'm like, Joseph been in these streets. <laughs> the joy that it gives me to know that my life matters, my voice, my just who I am is touching people. That by itself has tremendously blessed me. And thank you so much for all of you that have commented and shared your stories, a lot of the stories I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> right. Somebody said you had like approached them in the goodwill and like they had very detailed. Right. And you probably don't even remember the details. I, I don't remember because a lot of times I'm just moving off of spirit. And you approach people when you feel it. Right. I'm just moving off of spirit. I'm just moving off of what I feel in the moment. So yep. I have no idea what's going on, but thank you guys for so, so many wonderful comments. It blessed my heart tremendously. You know one of the comments I loved when that girl said um, that you used to play with her sister growing up when y'all was kids. Right. That was dope. I don't, to be honest, I didn't even remember the young lady until I saw her picture. Yeah. But no less, I remembered her. And I'm just so grateful to all of you for your outpouring of support. For those of you that have followed the ministry page, thank you mm -hmm. so much for that. It means so much to me. My hope is that I will continue to inspire and uplift people. You ain't even got to hope that, bro. That's just going to happen because you got the energy for it, man. Like, Should God be all the you... glory. <laughs> Sometimes great people have a hard time seeing the greatness in themselves because they're so busy being great to everybody else. And Joseph is one of those people. And I relate to that part of him because I've been that same person throughout my life. I've poured a lot into people. And a lot of times people like us are in situations where we need a lot of help and we're kind of in these positions of feeling empty and sometimes it's financially, sometimes it's just within our own spirit. We feel like we're not good enough sometimes. And Joseph, you're a great person, man. And clearly you see with the, the outpouring of love that people, we really love you, man. So keep doing what you're doing.